In this last video of the series, we will learn about, the possible composition and evolution, of the air wings of American aircraft carriers, in the period 2035 to 2050. The strategic plans, of the United States Department of Defense, for its five armies, are in the full phase of analysis and implementation. These plans, will allow the development of multi-domain operations, in case of conflict, not necessarily warlike, MDO, 2018. This means that, in conflict situations, military operations, MDO, will take place on various planes or domains. As you can see, each domain represents the field of action of, naval, land, air forces, cyberspace and, finally, outer space itself. These operations, MDO, must be carried out simultaneously, and in coordination, between the various domains. The operations, are developed based on maneuvers, which will be coordinated between all those domains. The final result, of achieving a good integration, between operations and maneuvers, in the five domains simultaneously, will be to generate lack of coordination, in the enemy actions, breaking their cohesion, the integrity of their communications, and, finally, their tactical actions. Or said, by duty itself. To create, complex, simultaneous dilemmas at once, for the enemy. The U.S. Navy, in early 2021, will have its future fleet organization ready, based on the so-called distributed force architecture, formerly distributed lethality. This will be achieved, by reducing the number of large vessels, but increasing the number of medium and small ones. In addition, to reducing the importance of expensive carrier battle groups, to the benefit of smaller and more dynamic attack groups. Expressed in numbers, the U.S. Navy, expects to have by 2035, a fleet of about 300 ships, in addition to another 50 remotely manned ships. Focusing on the carriers, and for the period under review, the Gerald Ford class will have three units. From the Nimitz class, three to four units, will still be operational. And as a result of the current strategic changes, it will have around four to six, pocket aircraft carrier units. two most relevant changes, in the composition of its air wings, would be the following. Significant increase in remotely manned aircraft, UCAVs. Availability, of the new 6th generation FAXX, which will allow to have, once more, a pair of winning combat fighters together, with the F-35 BC. This is one, of only three remaining Gerald Ford class aircraft carriers, in the US Navy fleet, as the rest of the planned units were cancelled. In this period of time and among other novelties, there is the incorporation, for the first time, of foreign designed destroyers to the fleet. 
These are the Frem class destroyers, frigates in Europe, of Italian French design. Spain also competed in this U.S. Navy contest with Navancha and its destroyer F-110. For less than half the cost of an Arla Burke class unit, they offer enough benefits to provide anti-aircraft and anti-submarine escorts. Let us know what could be the composition of future air wings of large nuclear carriers. To attack squadrons, VFA, ASW, VAQ, with 10 aircraft each, from F-35C, Seatal. To attack squadron, VFA. SW, VAQ and VAR, with 10 aircraft, from the new 6th generation FXX fighter. This artistic representation, shows the fighter that began to join the carrier fleet, starting in the year 2040. One attack squadron, VFA, VAR, ASW, with six X-50 UCAV aircraft. One attack squadron, VFA, ASW, HSC, with six UCAV helicopters, from MQ-12. One early warning squadron, VAW, with three aircraft, of E-3F Hawkeye. One attack aircraft squadron, VFA, ASW, with six UCAV aircraft, of Sea Avenger. One Logistics Transport Aircraft Detachment, VRCCOD, with three CMV-44 aircraft. This artistic representation shows a large vertical takeoff aircraft with double the capacity of the previous V-22 Osprey.
two helicopter squadrons, HSC, with six helicopters each, of HH-80. This artistic representation, shows a helicopter more aerodynamic, and with superior performance, than the previous MH-60. In addition to these units, the nuclear aircraft carrier, will also incorporate other types of remote control units, such as one detachment of light observation aircraft, with four UAV units, one UAV observation ship squadron, with six units, Let us know the summary, by type of mission and model of airplane or helicopter used, of this period of time. As can be seen in this evolution graph, in this period of time, the diversity of aircraft is once again expanded. But, with the help of remotely piloted units, this type of mission will be made cheaper, in addition to avoiding personal injury. The arrival of the new CMV-44S will improve the maintenance and support chain of the aircraft carrier and its strike group.
And finally, again UCAV or UAV helicopters, will expand the combat capabilities of the entire fleet.